Okay, okay, Kathy. Uh, first of all, can you tell us a little bit about you're all the way from Illinois coming here. You know, why come all the way out here? Why did you decide to kind of fight fight over here at Tough Enough? You know, all my fights so far have been great, but this was a bigger challenge for me, so I decided I needed a bigger challenge if I want to get to the next step. So that's why I decided to manage this tough enough fight. Well, which is a bigger challenge because the winner of this fight goes to face uh, Gabrielle, who just met, actually, uh, for the title. Um, first of all, have you seen Gabrielle's last fight? Yeah, I watched it live, actually. I watched both of her fights, so. <laughs> so, um, I mean, well, well, not to jump the gun. Well, let's not jump the gun yet. Let's talk a little about your opponent. Uh, tell, tell us a little bit about, you know, is there any certain, have you seen any video of your opponent? Is there anything that you're looking look, looking forward to when it comes to the fight? You know, I have seen a few of her videos. Uh, I'm not really focusing on one thing rather than the other. I'm just going in there to do what I've been trained to do and hopefully come out on top. Are you more of a grappler or are you more of a striker? Both, I think. I've definitely become a well-rounded fighter. A lot more than I was before, so. Well, that's great. And, um, and like I said, um, looking looking forward to, uh, you know, that, that match tomorrow night, if you do win, I mean, is there anything in the Gabrielle you're saying that maybe you, you can take advantage of? No, not that I can take advantage of. I just think I want to go in there and fight smart. She's cool. hurt and she's a good fighter, so. Got a challenge on my hands, that's for sure. Oh, definitely. I mean, in, like I said, you're, you're, you're going for this championship and all that, too. What would it mean to win the 115-pound championship? You know, I want to win this championship for my son. My son wants this belt so bad. And he's four. He loves me fighting. So to have a real belt and not only his fake belts, he would just face would be priceless if I came up with it. So I, I want that belt. Yeah, and um, you know the crowd's out here a little bit bigger, you know, being Vegas and all that. Um, are you kind of does that kind of pump you up a little bit more to, yes. to have a fight? Yes, that definitely pumps me up. <laughs> <laughs> and I mean, have you been training out with Sarah? Has Sarah been been teaching you a lot? Or? No, we don't train with Sarah. She trains at a different gym. Than okay. Us. I travel about an hour. She stays in town and trains. So. And um, any any anybody in certain? I mean, have you have you have you have you been training with more guys lately? Or yes. Have, oh, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> Has, 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 has the transition to going for a smaller fighter uh, been a you know been a hindrance or has it been you know actually better because you get to fight with a bigger fighter? I feel like it, I think it makes you a little better if you can get those guys off you that weigh 245 to 205 pounds, which those are kind of hard to get off. But <laughs> you can get those guys off. You should be able to get a girl off at 125 pounds. Yeah, and um, you know, any time that you're thinking about going pro, maybe maybe in a year or so, when you have a couple more fights, or do you feel that you're just going to, you know, do it when when you feel it's right? When I feel it's right, absolutely. Anything else you want to add? No, that's fine. Okay, cool. Thank you. Thank you. First of all, what's it you know, what's it like to um, what's it like to fight for a possibility to get a championship? Uh, it's an amazing feeling. Uh, I've been working my butt off. Um, I'm ready to just go in there and just put everything I have in there. All this hard work. I know I've improved so much lately. I'm just ready to go in there and show off my skills. And where you're fighting out of? St. Louis, Missouri. Yeah, and I mean, there's quite a few great pro fighters out of St. Louis, Missouri, and all that as well. What do you think of St. Louis, Missouri as a kind of a women's MMA mecca? Um, it's starting to grow. There's actually uh, several uh, women in MMA fighters in St. St. Louis, and every once in a while we get together and we train together, and it's growing. You know, Barb uh, Hancock, she's in St. Louis, and she just turned pro, so there's a lot going on in St. Louis. Yeah, not to mention Valley Cobal, who was also a great, great, great fighter out of St. Louis as well, and it's great to see such a flourishing community as there as well. Um, have you seen video of your opponent, and what do you think about your opponent? Um, I think she's tough, but you know, I've had several tough fights in my past, and I'm ready to go. Any, any certain, any, any certain things that you've been concentrating on the past couple of months of training? Um, everything. You know, I'm the type of fighter I want to be well-rounded. So every night I'm going to jiu-jitsu, I'm going to wrestling boxing, Muay Thai, everything. So I'm a well-rounded fighter and I'm ready to go. Now you're going to have to face Gabrielle if you win this fight. Is there anything that you're looking looking at when you fight her? Um, you know, I haven't really been focusing on that because right now I'm focusing on the fight tomorrow. And after I win tomorrow, then I'll focus on the next fight. Oh, awesome. And um, anything else you want to add? I um, just would like to thank my coaches, uh, Mike, Rodrigo, and uh, Fouad. Thank all my teammates and thank my parents for being very supportive. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much.